Ladies and gentlemen, today's uh, episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek in the building. One of my favorite, favorite companies that sponsors La Plática. Honestly, I love talking about SeatGeek because you already know that's what we use. The number one ticketing app with over 28 million downloads. You know the deal. Uh, you know what I just used it for? What? what? Los Dodgers. Los pinche Dodgers. I just got me and my family tickets to the Dodgers with SeatGeek. And yeah, I used my own code you to are. get $20 off if you... You use La Platica in all caps. You sneaky devil, you. You sneaky. You know why I like SeatGeek? Why? SeatGeek makes it simple, right? Mm -hmm. Green dot means good. Red dot means bad. Look for the green dot. Green means go. Green means good. Green means good. Did you know that SeatGeek has 70,000 events daily? This includes sporting events, wow. festivals, wow. concerts, Drake, Rihanna, RBD, Caliuchis. I mean, you name Damn. it, it's on SeatGeek, you geek. So... Wow. Okay. Slow down. Okay. So you're telling me that I need to start using SeatGeek more and more than I do now. It's there's a reason why it's the number one app. Well, I mean, it all makes sense for the number one Latino podcast in the world to be using the rated number one ticketing app on the App Store. But I never said that about La Platica. But I did say that about SeatGeek. And I did too. Once again, guys, make sure to use code La Platica for twenty dollars off your next ticket using SeatGeek. La Platica in all caps. Uh, enjoy today's video. It's a good one. Bye. <laughs> we'll wait. Yeah, we wanted to have her on 100, but I feel like this is like way cooler. Yeah. It's, it's, wait, what episode it's better, is this? It's 96. Let's see. We're, we're four away from 100. You're good right there. And I'm a year. Wait, what are you guys going to do for Wait, I can't hear myself. Oh, you can't? No. How about now? Much better. Okay. <laughs> um, what, what are you guys doing for your 100? What are we doing for 100? We gotta do something big. Uh, yeah, we gotta do something big. Yeah. I, we haven't figured it out yet because we've been so busy with like the wedding and all the events that have been happening. Um, you guys are ready? Yeah. <laughs> Tech, yeah. Apologies, guys. I want to say that that was we didn't mean to take that many weeks off. Even for me, like I'm uploading and you like it got us off the schedule. Yeah. But yeah. we're back. We've, we've been so off the schedule, we but we're uploading one, weekly. once yes. a week. Though yes. we we yeah. haven't missed yeah. a week. Just yeah. not Mondays. Yeah. We so, just so don't Mondays suck were sucking then. Yeah, they were Mondays sucking, hard. sucking for like Change two, our model. Weekdays don't suck anymore. We don't know which <laughs> yeah. weekday. What was um, that? But we are posting weekly still, yes. so you know we don't miss. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely. You it. can't relate. I haven't uploaded in three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Though. Hey, I'm the novia. I yeah. Have, I have a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't even been on social media to be honest. I haven't even been like announcing anything, nothing like that. Normally, it's like, hey. Um, We'll post on Thursday. I haven't even said anything. It drops when it drops. <laughs> yeah, I got it. It is what Everyone's it is. understanding, though. Of course. They understand, course. like, yeah. as a wedding approaches and there's so much going on that mm -hmm. you, it's kind of hard to be consistent with just anything, even, yeah. even sometimes for yourself, like yeah. making it to a workout or whatever. But, yeah. you know, you Mentally, are you in a different headspace now? Do you feel more, like, relaxed? Oh like, God. everything, like, the pressure's kind of off? Okay, it's Hold a on, I gotta hit the intro real quick. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Chill out. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to get into this, bro. <laughs> Welcome to episode 96 of La Platiquita. I am Sebastian Robles. Next to me, we have the Josh Leva. How we, we are your host of La Platiquita, and we are... I think we look good today. Yeah, we're looking dapper. I pulled up and I saw you guys. I was like, oh, we all caught the vibe. Yeah, we all caught the we vibe. We all got the memo. Speaking <laughs> about looking good, I got a very pretty looking wife. Who is this? Would you like to introduce? Oh, well, there we to go. To my left. <laughs> to my go. left. I think maybe you guys is right. Um, <laughs> Karen Sarai Robles. Ooh. When does the ID actually change? When are you changing it? Uh, yeah, Karen. <laughs> we we submitted in our paperwork because okay. you have to do your certificate. You have to mail in the certificate, and then yeah. from there, once it comes in, I think I have to go change it. But this is really good to know if you guys have any tips because was the deeds. we have we have a trip coming up at the end of the month. Like mm -hmm. I just want to make sure that um, it matches like my passport. Like I don't have any issues. I got to change social security. Yeah. You got to yeah. change everything. But yeah. I think after the trips will like really dial kind of down. Out. I mean, yeah, yeah. it takes a few weeks to process. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But other than that, because um, you well, have to do your passport too. I guess right. I'll find out when yeah. I get to the. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, but how do you how do you feel? Yeah, or, or, yeah. Or how what? you feeling? Like what? I feel good. <laughs> uh, I feel good. I'm definitely on. I feel like I was the first week was just like a wow, like cloud nine. We couldn't believe it. We were like both very emotional. Yeah. Um, super happy. Obviously, like just did something major and mm -hmm. these memories will live with us forever and did it amazingly oh thank I you i hope yeah. you guys loved oh, it good it i know everybody was literally living their best life which we'll talk all about that but yeah. um 
I feel like this week we were like, what do we do with ourselves? Like, <laughs> do we go somewhere? Do we? Because we're not honeymooning just yet. We're gonna wait a little bit. Okay. But it's like, do we go somewhere? Do we just keep the good vibes going? Um, and then yeah. we got both kind of a little sad this week. And I think the wedding blues hit him. Oh, um, yeah. Is that a thing? Wedding blues? Hell and yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. It was a thing until yeah. recently where I started feeling like sad because <laughs> i was like, like what's wrong so with much me? hype and then it's kind of like getting yeah. back to reality it was, well in. we've been planning for the last year and a half yeah. so imagine all your energy weekends just going to planning and finding stuff and this and that and just as like you're waiting months and months and months for this big date and especially the last six ever since like we asked everyone to be in the bridal party it has been non-stop celebrations non-stop. from that to the bridal shower to the bachelor trip to this bachelor trip to our other friends wedding like so much in between and we were the last wedding of like so many people yeah. that we know getting married yeah. that were the last ones until 2025 maybe because that's the next person getting married in our like friend group yeah. that we know of so we're like damn that's it that's it that's sad. it yeah, you're just, what have you felt you, I, it's, I was telling Karen it's not nothing like it's not sadness it's just kind of like I'm just kind of like in limbo yeah kind of like what, do we do? what now <laughs> like yeah I look forward to filming with you and, yeah. and filming platicas and stuff yeah. but other than that, it's just like at home, I'm like, I don't want to do anything uh, uh, other than celebrate more of yeah. us or, yeah. or make an event or make he, a party. He literally or, said, what are we celebrating next? I'm like, I don't know, maybe a baby shower I was when like, I get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. Go. And I was like, no wonder people go on baby showers immediately after. Yeah. Because honeymoons. They, they, yeah. The honeymoons, I'm sorry. Because they keep, they, they, they keep the good times rolling. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, dang, maybe we should have, you know, dipped or something. Yeah. But the way that we want to do is that we want to wait a little bit, especially more towards like her birthday because it's coming up. Well, um, not so much that. It's just like. Giving it a beat. Just taking like resetting, regrouping. Yeah. We still got to work. We still got to film. Yeah. We still have so much stuff to do. Um, we weren't ready to leave yet. No, mm-hmm. I I definitely feel like I need like not ready two leave. months to just get yeah. it together, yeah. regroup, and then keep it going from there. But I don't know. I don't know. We were gonna have this feeling of yeah. feeling yeah. of like. Oh no! I felt like what? that. I what felt now? like that on. That's so interesting. Tuesday yeah. wedding blues. So when I didn't know it was a thing. I mean, I've never been married. <laughs> <laughs> so when our friend Jasmine and Ronald had left back to New York, they were the last people we were saying bye to that yeah. came to visit for the wedding, and. When they were leaving, I got really sad. I don't know if I told you, I texted them on the side and I was like. <laughs> Please don't go. <laughs> no, yeah, I basically was like, I love, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, I'm not, bitch, no, you're not. <laughs> Anyways, I was like, I can't say it. Oh my God, what's wrong with me, guys? <laughs> well, what'd you say? Wait, am I really crying? Yeah. Out of nowhere? Are you okay? I Is wanna, this about I, what you I said wanna to know them? what you yeah, said. Yeah, I wanna yeah. know what you said. It's like all poetic. Wait, no, it's nothing even <laughs> that deep. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, hold on. Not the makeup. Damn, sick ass thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is perfect. Just hold it right there. <laughs> you okay? That's the wedding blues for you right here. <laughs> okay, well, I just took a literal chunk of my fucking eye makeup off. You can't really see me, anyways. But whatever. Um. Okay. So why I got emotional? I was realizing that we were saying bye to our friends and i was like dang i don't know when i'm going to see them again because they're all the way in new york she's yeah. been out here so often for all of our wedding stuff then we had w- their wedding last year in dr so i feel like i was almost like just saying goodbye to my friend and i don't know when i'm going to see her again even though we talk every single day and i text i text her and her husband um on the side i don't even know why i did this it was just like one morning i was just like in my feelings and was it i just said day? um was it right after they left? No, no, it was it was that Sunday, the day after the wedding. Mm. I don't know what happened. I was I like woke up like getting ready to go, and I was like, damn. I just realized that they're just amazing friends. But I was like, I just want you guys to know how much I love both of you so much. I really wish we had met sooner in our lives, but cherish you both. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute though. That's really cute. Yeah. But I just texted them out of yeah, nowhere. Yeah, but it felt it felt like a lot, like that you were telling them, right? Like yeah. It was, <clears throat> yeah. And also, I know Ronald watches every uh, episode, episode of La Plastica. He's gonna laugh. So stop crying, you <laughs> little. Weenie. That was weird. <laughs> no, that was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. No, I think that just shows how much you appreciate them. And yeah, no. Sometimes words don't like yeah. say enough, you know, but about what you would, how you really feel. Of course, and I do feel like it started hitting me that day, yeah. and I was like, oh shit, like I'm I'm feeling like a little bit emotional. And yeah. then they left Monday. We said goodbye, um, and then Tuesday, when everybody left, everyone's gone. It's just me and him. We were just like wow this is like we, we just couldn't believe it but it started to hit me i was like oh my god like that's 
I'm not going to see the photographer anymore. I like love talking to her. I'm not going to see the planner anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like I started thinking wow. about everyone who I've been in contact with for so many months. Yeah. It's almost like a goodbye. Whoa. And it kind of like made me like really felt like closing a yeah. chapter. They're, it they're, made me so they're, sad. Yeah. They're like such a big part of your life for like those that year, year and a half. Yeah. Especially like the wedding planner. Yeah. What are we like uh, a little like, over a week out? I mean, like, like nine, 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 ten days ago. Nine, ten days. We yeah. got married. Even, even this Saturday, which That's today right. that was that was eight days out. Wednesday out after. Yeah, right? which today is Wednesday. Even that Saturday, I'm like, a week ago, we were tripping. A week yeah. ago, we had the best day of our lives. A week ago, all of our friends had an amazing time. Yeah. A week ago, uh, there was this emotional rush that we had. Yeah. A week ago, we were. I was so nervous. You know, I'm assuming Karen. Oh you my were, gosh. You were nervous. <laughs> Yes. Um, it was. It I was, was a wreck. It was just insane. I Day of. We yeah. we plan a lot of stuff all the yeah. time. You yeah. know, we even had our engagement party. I didn't even feel like that in no. our engagement party. You know, and like I said, we always plan like little parties and stuff for our friends and family. And I'm, you know, at that moment, I was just kind of like, oh, you know, we're just gonna throw something sick for our, yeah. for our family yeah. and friends. Yeah. No. But it wasn't. <laughs> it was way different. It was. It was. I woke it's up. It's a that, wedding. Babe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I get that. But what I'm saying is like. You don't feel the magnitude uh, yeah, of the seriousness yeah. of it until you're actually I woke there. up that day. I don't even know if I talked about this on the last episode, but I woke up that day and I was like, well, the night prior, I was like, I'm going to sleep until like nine or 10. Yeah. You know, I'm going to get ready quick. You guys will probably pull up like around 11. Yeah. Um, bro, I woke up at 630 and I was just tripping. Insanely tripping. Wow. I was just like, I felt like I had so much pressure in my chest. Yeah. And. It was just a lot to handle. And we that both, day. we both, obviously, we saw each other the night before. We said bye, and then on Friday night, and he had texted me. No, he texted me the next day, and I'm like, "Are we supposed to talk or not? <laughs> like, I know I'm gonna see you. Up, I can't yeah, see you, yeah, but yeah. Are, we supposed to, we are we supposed to talk?" <laughs> and yeah. then um, he's like, he he just kept texting me. He's like, "Karen, I'm I'm freaking out. Like, wow. what the hell? This is crazy. It's really happening." No, yeah, me too. And I was like emotional. When I got, like woke up, like, oh my gosh, I'm getting married today. Like, I was really excited, but. Yeah. It was a different. I was saying bye to my dog. Why was I crying? Wow! Like if I'm leaving them, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like a big. Uh, they, were, they were there. They yeah. Were, okay. Yeah. Was there. Yeah. They were there. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, one thing I was telling Sebas is you guys did an amazing job. I really. I felt like when I was watching you guys, you guys were very present. Yeah. Very there. Yeah. And you actually mentioned too, like uh, we were talking about like drinking, how you didn't even like you guys didn't even catch a buzz. You guys were just really we'll get into in the all moment. Of that. Yeah. You. So did you feel like that? Did you feel very just like locked in? Did it feel very? Was it almost like surreal? The day of. Yeah. Like day in of. The morning? yeah the morning i was just kind of like i couldn't believe it and obviously i had i didn't actually uh didn't have anyone stay with me i stayed home alone at the house yeah right no one's with me jasmine jasmine yeah wait was it Jasmine? no 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 jasmine she came home. in the morning no no i stayed home alone by myself um because we were originally gonna have all the girls come stay at the house yeah. and then we'll go to the venue in the morning and get ready but i just kind of felt like it was didn't make any sense especially since we had done the rehearsal dinner thursday night mm -hmm. everybody was like basically hung okay yeah hung over yeah, you, if you guys are getting married do your rehearsal dinner on wednesday and thursday night or so thursday smart. night so that you can like be a little hungover for a day or two but that's basically what happened mm -hmm. and everybody was still like packing their stuff getting stuff ready for their kids and their clothes and like everybody was just so busy that i didn't want to have everyone have to now i feel like they have to stay the night yeah. and, figure and then that the next stuff out. Yeah, yeah i just yeah. didn't want to take more much of their time and honestly i didn't mind being alone i felt like i kind of needed that time yeah. just kind of regroup yeah i was recenter. able to really get my thoughts together yeah. um work on my vows a little wow. bit and then just have that like me time it was really weird because i'm cool. definitely pictured me being surrounded with like all the girls yeah, but i'm too. like i'm going to bed at eight like why am i gonna want to be uh, like you guys are gonna get bored of me because i'm just mm -hmm. gonna go to sleep so i decided to just stay home alone and it was actually nice and all the girls were like are you sure and i was like, gonna say <laughs> yeah they, they asked me multiple times like, like uh, are you sure and yeah. i was like yeah no. well was that like, was the plan so that's why i told all you guys like meet yeah. me at the hotel that's yeah. different though Cause you guys yeah but i wanted it to be kind of like all the guys with me all the girls with you mm -hmm. but then when i realized that they're just gonna meet up with you super early in the morning i was kind of like damn like i should have just well, like you know no, it just it made more sense for you guys because you guys were actually getting ready there together yeah getting your ivs like yeah. you know what you guys would do yeah. as for the girls pretty cool we would have had to like come to my house they would have unpacked all their like night stuff and get ready in the morning repack and then go to the venue and get ready more of a process so if sure. we were getting ready at my house it would have been different yeah. but because we didn't i just felt like we don't need to do all that. Like, mm -hmm. we'll just, I'll see you guys at the venue. But in the morning, um, my maid of honor and uh, Jasmine 
met me at the house and, and they were there like bright and early. We got into the Uber, we got everything ready to go. It was wild. It was like a crazy moment. Like I'll never forget like packing up the Uber, we, everything we we're taking, making our checklist, carrying my dresses out. Like it was crazy. Wow. But it was like really cute. And then when I left the dogs, I was crying. Like wow. if I'm never gonna see them again. I don't know why, I got so emotional. And then yeah. on the way there, I felt fine. Then when I got there, I was good, tripping, tripping out. Um, Cause I was, I was seeing the ceremony being set up and I was like, oh my gosh. You're like, this is all for me. Yeah, and then and then like, even just seeing like people in these big old rental trucks. Yeah. Um, they noticed I was a bride cause I was like in the white robe and they were like, is today your wedding? I'm like, yeah, they're like, this is crazy. Just so you know, this production level for this wedding is crazy. Telling That's literally me. what they told us. <laughs> And um, and then I was, and then we were just talking to them for a little bit. I went back inside. When I come out, Sebastian's mom was walking in. I started crying when I saw her. I was just crying like yeah, every it's hour. Yeah, emotional day. I understand that completely. All eyes on you. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. even if you've been with someone for so long, like you're still so emotional. Mm -hmm. It's like there's so many feelings that come out like yeah. that day. It's yeah, for crazy. me, I like, was nothing just like, matters that day. Yeah, nothing. And that's what we even spoke about before. Is if and I think I talked about it on the last episode is that no matter what you don't like. No matter, no matter what happens that you might not seem that should happen, mm -hmm. um, there's nothing we can do about it. We have to enjoy ourselves. It is what it is. I got you. I see what Wh you're saying. Whether yeah. you like how everything like looks there. or not. Yeah, um, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, obviously, we had a really, really good wedding uh, planner. Shout out to Alfonso. And it's so crazy. I was thinking about him I the other day. I followed him on Instagram. Because yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm going to be talking to you. My yeah. <laughs> so well, I was thinking about him the other day. I'm like, I feel like saying hi or something. Like, hey, what's up? You know? Because <laughs> yeah. like, I talked to him so much. And just like, yeah. is, cool is, is, is that it? Yeah. Like, are we not friends <laughs> oh, anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know? And, you know, so many special moments we had with him. And he just killed it. And He did. I, yeah. And I told people on the other podcast uh, last episode, I was like, we never really saw like what it actually was going to look. That's crazy. I didn't know that. I, I But it makes sense. Right. But not even like a 3D render you were saying. Yeah. Or like I, a mini I 3D thought, render. I thought we would get a 3D render. So did I. Uh, that, was, did not. That, that wasn't the case. Uh, I, we never like questioned him because of his work. Like we've just followed him for so long and seen all his work. And he just executes weddings like unlike anyone I've ever yeah. seen or followed. So we gave him the inspo. It, a lot of it came from his page, but a lot of it came oh, from wow. Pinterest as yeah. well. <laughs> and I'm like, this is what I want. These are the kind of flowers. This is a visual. Yeah. Um, do, what you gotta, do what you gotta do. It's a yeah, summer yeah. wedding. And then also working in a venue. The most beautiful day too. Oh my gosh. The first, Dude, was like crazy all beautiful. of June has been so ugly. Yeah, and that one that day, one day. <laughs> sunny blue skies, perfect weather. Was and taking it back like a year and a half ago, we said, uh, we started looking at venues like around what 2021 uh, was it 2021 2021 we started and then we really really uh no then we, we yeah. set that one end of 2021 yeah we booked the end of 2021 Whoa. yeah so what happens is that since covid happened all those weddings got pushed to 21 23. oh wow yeah, yeah. 21 22. so 2022 was booked because that's originally yeah, so gotcha. what we wanted the year to out they got yeah we wanted kind of like do like 2022 um because we got engaged 2020 right yeah COVID. Um, so all those dates were booked, taken. So we're looking at 2023 and even those dates are almost all taken. Wow. I wanted, so, I wanted like a May wedding, yeah, ideally. Yeah. Um, even like April, May and thank God we didn't. It's been ugly since January, yeah, been, yeah, but terrible. then our friends got married in April and then our other friends got married in May. And mm -hmm. then we were like, okay, so the next month will be June. If we don't do June, we got to hop all the way to September, October, cause mm -hmm. there's no way I'm doing a July yeah. August wedding and we that day when i saw it i was like i guess that's the day yeah wow yeah. we're like hopefully it's not too hot because yeah you know how it is over here in the valley we're here in southern california yeah. it's like bipolar. starting end of may june july it's extremely hot yeah so we didn't want it to be too hot but we're like well we know it really gets hot around july august yeah. it's like yeah. extremely for sure hot. hot for sure hot yeah but it'll be a hit and miss but bro you know how it is uh since the beginning of this year, it's been gloomy and rainy. Yeah. It's yeah. like unpredictable. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So since that Monday before our wedding, since that's before that Saturday when we got married, thunderstorms. Every day. All day. Were you guys kind of freaking out a little bit? Super. Like, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's an outdoor wedding yeah. and we were working. You kind of saw the setup. It was, it's not it's a It's not a tent. Yeah, no, no, no. It's no. like an open space. But yet it felt indoor. Yeah. It was just trippy. Yeah. It's like the it's like most insane layout that I can't wait to show you guys because even me, I still couldn't wrap my head around what they just did. Yeah. It took three days to set the whole wedding up. They what? started Wednesday. 
Thursday. Wow. I'm sorry. It makes Thursday, so much Friday, sense. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. yeah. All That's day crazy. setting up yeah. those days. And one day to tear it all down. Which kind of sucks because each <laughs> one. Each, <laughs> he was each saying one, on last podcast, yeah. I was like, man, I could imagine. That hurt. I could imagine. So having like a three day setup is like, it, it sounds cool. But like with us, it's like, damn, because those days to set up aren't free. Oh, yeah. gotcha. You, you have, have to, to pay, pay like feet. every day. I mean, they give them to you discounted. Yeah. Because they're not hosting like something big, but they still have the to like, of. you have to rent it out for the day. Yeah. Like at that, like there's fee for gotcha. that. Gotcha. And gotcha. then you still have to have like their security on staff. So you got to hire their security to like ah. make sure no one's going to hurt them. It's wild. Yeah. It's, I'm sure it's a lot of venues, but our venue specifically, like she said, you rent out the actual day and then you have to tell a security because he has to hire security to be on, just look. So out. that entire thing was built. Like yeah. none of yeah. it was. Oh, already... not, that floor is not even there. We put that floor there. Oh my god! None of that's Cause there. Because just... you guys would have been in grass. So you guys just saw an empty, like a, a, a lot. Like, lot. Yeah, it's an empty lot. By the way, guys, the venue is called Hummingbird Nest, and there's, it's on twenty five acres, and there's, uh, five different properties on there. So you can get married at the villa, at Sitting Bowl, which is where we had cocktail hour and the ceremony. Ceremony. Mm -hmm. People usually just do the ceremony at the same spot, and then where cocktail hours at, that's where they'll do. Um, Got the it. wedding, yeah, but that only holds a hundred and something people. The reception, like that would yeah. be, you gotcha. yeah. And then there is on the other side the barn area. Mm -hmm. Then there's Lake Lawn where we did the reception. Got it. And then there's the Grand Prix, which is where they film movies, do uh, the horse races, like they do all kinds. It's like yeah. it's used more than just a wedding venue. It's Got like it. so many filming locations. What was that recent movie with Brad Pitt? Babylon or something. Oh, I know what you're talking about. That uh, was filmed there. Yeah, yeah, dude, the one with the uh, the other big actor. It was a huge movie. Yes. Uh, Once upon a time in Hollywood. Is that one? Yeah, it, no, but no. it's, the, it's <laughs> kind of the same guys. Oh, but the movie's called Babylon. But it was filmed, oh, I did it was hear about filmed this one. there, yeah, gotcha. and if you guys watch that movie, you can kind of like now put together the cock tower area, the Got pool it. area. Like, yeah, there's yeah. so many areas that were very uh, that I noticed right away. I was like, "Hey, that's our venue." Um, so you can get married in different spots, wow. which is really cool. But wasn't there like another wedding happening too? Yeah, but it was so it's because it's so much yeah. planned. You can't even hear them. They were yeah. only complete at the villa. Somebody mentioned that. And I was like, there is where. Yeah, it's it on yeah. the other side, but you couldn't hear it because no, they were all. way far. And yeah. thank God there was only one. Because yeah. if there was more, who knows if they would have like not let us set up a day before. Gotcha. Well, yeah. you have to set up a day before, but yeah, it was it was a lot. Um, we learned a lot about wedding venues. I bet. You know, at first we were kind of like. Because when you go to a lot of wedding venues, it's it's kind of very cookie cutter. It's like, do you want package A, B, or C? And A is top tier. It has everything ab uh, uh, everything below. Um, C has like everything minus the flowers or minus this. You're not going to get this. You can't really put your own style into it. It's very just kind of like yeah, what it's they do. Strict. Mm. It's, it's, and they're very strict. Venues are strict in general. You got to use their preferred vendors for certain things. You got to use this. You got to use that. You wow. got, like there's like a lot of things with venues that I'm like, oh my God, yeah. I could see why it's so stressful. And to find one, it took us a while because we went to a lot of places and all of them, we would even just like walk in for like 10 minutes and we're like, absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. Are you guys doing instantly? Are you guys kind of know right away? I in mean, no, we went, to that right. one, we went to that one first. Oh, and we nice. were, I was like, it's nice, but I'm not in love with the area because I wanted to do it at the villa originally mm -hmm. and I wasn't in love with it when I saw it. So we're like, whatever, let's keep looking. We kept looking and all of them, we just went back to that one because we're like, okay, well, they'll let us go to this time. They're more lenient on this. We can bring outdoor vendors like tacos and coffee and yeah. pizza. We can have banda. Like one place and girl was like, she, 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 no asked, banda. Can, no, she goes. She <laughs> no goes, banda. You can have you can have a mariachi band, and yeah. I was like, oh. I was like, Karen, let's go. Yeah, we're like, no, because we we want banda. We yeah. want it all. Um, so it's very. She's just like threw that out there. Just yeah. No, she, that no, cause she, no, we because we did a venue, <laughs> and they're gonna hire them. By the way. Oh. We went to a, we went to this one venue. I'm not gonna say which one it is, but it's it's here in Southern California. And we didn't realize that it's group tours with other couples. So here it's me and Seba, <laughs> and then it's like Jill and, Jill and Bryce, <laughs> April and Sam. Like it was like all these couples and their families and just us. So we were we were just like- That's so not it. We were, and Jays. <laughs> we were so unimpressed with like that alone. Cause yeah. I'm like, this is a very intimate thing. Like exactly. you're just like showing it like it's freaking- Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're showing me cutter. like an open house. Yeah. Like that's how it felt. <laughs> yeah. um, and then she had said that like, because somebody asked, where's the dance floor? And she goes, well, this corner. And it was so small. small it was like, bro. it was, um, you know, like, I can't explain like it. And then it's like, yeah, ten our, by ten. yeah, they're like, our chefs here are Tiny. good, blah, blah, blah. And then they would like, look at the group and be like, who likes tri-tip? And all, everybody was like, ooh. And I'm like, 
the fuck <laughs> is it? No, and then and then they said you guys didn't have. There's a DJ that you guys have to use. It's our DJ. He's amazing, and you can also have. You can have um, a couple like bands for a few hours. You can have a mariachi band, and I was like, <laughs> I literally like, I looked at guys, us. Yeah, I course. literally was like this. Where do people dance? Oh well, normally it's <laughs> was just it you right that asked here. Or was it somebody else? I think it was with me or somebody it else. It was a girl. Like, and then and then she's like, J -j 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 it's mainly right here. I'm like, not even ten people fit here, <laughs> dude. It was weird. So so many venues were just like, Ugh. and then when yeah. we saw that one, I love that you just have. Free, free range to do yeah. whatever you want that's cool it's a um, blank canvas basically yeah, yeah. And, and that's the thing everyone's been asking where the venue is I'm like well I'll tell you the venue but you're not gonna get the same layout because this is like a whole build out gotcha yeah. like you, it's you essentially it's customized yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. all they all they needed from them is you have to use their bartenders, which okay. they were great. Yeah, they were solid. You know? yeah. I feel like we could have got better ones I have I have my thoughts but okay. I'm just yeah. gonna keep it to myself <laughs> They were great. I had a great experience with bartenders. Yes, we have our thoughts, and we could have done it our Maybe way. Maybe we're just crazy, and we just... I think so. Um, and, you know, because we're used to just more... Just, like, hypercritical. I was like, we're, bartenders are great. Yeah, they were great, and they did their job, and they were there till 132, They're whatever. They were very, very strict by the books. Okay. Yeah. Which I was um, like... Yeah, like, for example, like, at our wedding, like, we still did it, but, like, they oh, were, you couldn't bring bottles straight. out to you the dance floor, bring, right? Yeah. yeah. You couldn't bring a bottle to the table. You couldn't bring a bottle to okay. the dance floor. And yeah. I get it. Like, there's hazard yeah. stuff. And maybe yeah. it was better that we didn't. Honestly, I was about to say that. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think it was better that we didn't. Because so knowing me and, and, and my family and our friends, it's just like, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, things like that. Or, like, you couldn't, like, take a tray out with, like, shots a hundred shots and gotcha. pass them around that's gotcha. what i was kind of i was i mean i didn't really notice this until the almost the very end because they were like oh bride like it's the first time at the bar i'm like no literally i have not been to the bar all night yeah. yeah um but that's the things i like i look back at and i'm like there's a couple things i kind of regret you know yeah but no one's gonna notice it's no, just no, us, it's you just know you guys, yeah, and, no. No yeah and you know there, there's more stuff that we were dealing with them like in the beginning that not necessarily talk about it but it was just like you had to use their bartenders. Okay. At the day of, they did a great job. Whatever you did your job, that's it. Um, second, you have to use their catering services, which was kind of cool because they had like about like twenty or thirty companies that oh, like cool. you can pick from here. Got it. Um, and I love that those all the caterers like know the venue. They're professional. They know yeah. what to do. Like it's not like you're just hiring some new caterer they're that like has never out. been there. Yeah. And it's like like these are people that run that do weddings yeah. often, so they understand like high capacity like a lot of people like if there's a lot of people they yeah. understand how many waiters are needed what what's expected yeah because i didn't think about that in the beginning i was like oh yeah yeah we need plus it was kind of cool to have like a list of caters and stuff because that kind of takes away from us looking into it yeah. right because what do we know about that you know yeah. we don't know i've never gotten a cater like yeah. that for like that 250 magnitude. people yeah. you know what i mean um so we actually picked uh this this guy's name's bobby from it's called sabor catering um and he did an amazing job. Amazing. It was really good, elegant food. Because mm -hmm. I've always said to myself, when I have a wedding, because we've been to so many weddings, like I said on the last episode, I've, we've been to so many weddings. Since Carrie was, is, is was kind of like a very active makeup artist yeah. that would do a shitload of weddings. Not me watching the clock, sorry. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, we got two minutes to a break, but I'll, I'll say this real quick. Um, it's always the same kind of food. Yeah regular ass chicken no sauce well, asparagus broccoli mashed potatoes i'm like what is this thanksgiving no 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 the reason it's like that is because the venues usually come with like the one cater you have to use from their venue gotcha. that's what i'm saying so but what i'm trying to say is that this shit sucks <laughs> with me i want plates and i want real authentic mexican food i want dirty stuff yeah. i want stuff that people are like oh my god this is insane i want more right yeah, yeah. but I got to a, you know, we we looked through a lot of caters, and I'll say this real quick because we only have a minute, but I told myself, like, it does have to be elegant. It has to have yeah. that really nice, elegant feel to it. So when we met Bobby, he had that elegant look to it, but it still had that nice the flavor, sazon, sazon, the flavor. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we we uh, we, we hired him. And yeah. he, and I barely ate because my I was so nervous, and, like, <laughs> there was so much going on. I ate. It was delicious. But everybody said it was insanely good. It's insainly good. So, yeah. So I barely, good. I barely I had the chicken. ate, too. No, so and, good. and before we go on break, one, two more things that we needed from the venue was we had to use their valet and their security. Okay. But which is That's not that bad. No, no, no. I think yeah. that kind of makes it a little more convenient for you guys, and I have to, like, scatter and figure that out. I just feel like I'm really picky when it comes to bartenders because I... Bartenders are one I can understand. Bartenders have such fuchi faces sometimes, and I feel uh, like I can only imagine how annoying we can get, like, guests and dealing with drunk people. So I 
I want to make sure this person has a smile on their face. They're happy. Yeah. They they love what they do. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's why I was like, oh, I wish we had some options. Like if there was like you can use out of these five bartenders and gotcha. like try all their drinks and see what makes them because it's not yeah. cheap to hire bartenders. Yeah. But more from the bartenders when we come back. That's it. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> But yeah, uh, about the bartenders, it's just it's just one of those things like we wanted a wedding. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of drinking. You know, I've been to Armenian weddings and they're like almost the same type of culture that we are. Yeah, it's 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 drinking Partying. and you don't want to like F that up. Yeah. yeah. So our main it's thing was like the there has to be good drinks. Yeah. I wanted a table on every, on every a table, a, um, a bottle on every table. Yeah. Um, I wanted people. I wanted myself to if I want to go grab a, a, a bottle, a bottle from the bar. And it's not that I'm like. Just, these are my requirements. No, that's just the culture. This yeah. is just what we do. Yeah, I think for me, just going to so many weddings and um, even going to weddings and parties like in Mexico, I like how they do it out there. Yeah. They bring out the little carrito with all yeah. the shots and yeah. then there's somebody doing like stuff. Like that's kind of what the vibe that I always wanted Envision, for us yeah. to like keep the party lit. I mean, mm -hmm. we were lit, but that would have been lit. that would have been cool to have that, but they didn't offer that. So I kind of was like, oh, it just sucks you have one option for a bartender when you can when there's so many out there. Yeah. And um also too, like with us, we just love also supporting like smaller vendors as yeah. well that we can bring into something like this. Like yeah. at yeah. the so we had our, our meal through Bobby, which he was amazing. And then you I don't even know did you even get food on the side? I did. Oh you did? Yeah, oh absolutely. a lot of people didn't though. What do, you, what do you mean? No, no, no! Like the after party food. Oh, I no. oh the tacos. Was there? Was it? Was there was it? tacos. Ta yeah, tacos. I didn't. There was wood fire handmade pizza. Oh wow! I missed all. There was, a, all there this. was, was... a coffee station that yeah. was so good, and I love that they're all kind of like local vendors, yeah. and you just want to support that. So that's part of us too, like wanting to have things like that that are a little. It's a bit of us too, but supporting and just yeah. having good stuff there i love that i was too busy on dance floor i don't think i left the dance floor at Bro, all i think only 50 percent of people actually grab tacos pizza yeah. coffee it's because everybody was having such an amazing time yeah. it's kind of like a good problem to have yeah is that nobody left the dance floor nobody left the bars yeah the minute like banda machos came on game, oh, over. It was game over it was a whole different party and yeah. I mean, every single person ran to the dance floor, um, <laughs> never left after that. And yeah. then and then I would just, I just kind of stayed around. Um, you were doing a great job, kind of bouncing around. I was around, bouncing to, to everybody. Yeah. And then I said, at song three, I'm running and changing into my second dress. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give myself a max of three songs to get it on, get changed, hair change, and then <laughs> run back. And we did, we got there. I had makeup artists yeah. touching me up, Ready hair stylist, Oski and Vanessa doing my hair. Yeah. The Galia girl was putting on my dress. Um, my friend Jazz was putting on my heels. Like I had a whole glam squad. Like <laughs> we got ready like, in ten less than ten minutes, fully everything. Wow! And we were it was out like the New York fashion. No, week. It, <laughs> it, it, it really was, was. It was to the point because I was like, I don't want to miss. Yeah, I don't want to miss from yeah. the party. Yeah, and and I am. I don't. The photos in the moment. We're in the moment. We're not stopping for photos. Like yeah. I just don't want to pose. I want to mm -hmm. live and just yeah. party it up. When I was coming back, literally like <laughs> coming out of the house. Alfonso comes with his walkie talkie. He's like, oh, I found her, I found her. He's like, got in. Like you just disappeared on me. And I was like, sorry, I came to change. He's like, I'm actually shocked. Like you got ready. Like wow. I turned around with, with somebody, turned back, you were gone. I'm looking for you. I come back down and you're already coming back up. Um, Karen looks stunning. Yeah. yeah. Like stunning. I was like, crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait, the truth too, is that I actually had three dresses. But you did two off and Only did yeah. two. Whoa. So I had my main one. Yeah. I had a second one that never made it because I would have had to change right before um, our entrance. Okay. And I wanted to enter in my first dress. Yeah. So then I would have had to leave right during dinner, come back with a different dress on, and then leave again. I was like, why did it's I? It's just too much. Yeah. If you guys think about three dresses, do not do it. Just do not. What did you change? On the next floor. When, yeah. I, when so, I came back with my dress, uh, Alfonso changed them. Oh, God. Gotcha. Yeah. So my whole thing was like. I think there's a photo. My whole thing was, I'll go with her and go change. Yeah. 
But then Banda Machos was gotcha. playing. Did he so do it like, like on the side I'm or was leaving. it like a whole thing? Because I missed that. So, yeah, you. I think you missed it. Okay, so you see these photos? Yeah. Do you see him? Oh. <laughs> He's getting changed in the background. <laughs> so, I am... So, Alfonso, the wedding planner, um, he said, yo te lo traigo, yo te lo traigo. Like, not a big deal. I said, okay, yeah, bring it to me. And then take my take the, my black coat, yeah. my I'm black jacket, and one. then take it back to the room. Um, but... It actually worked out perfectly because instead of me going to the room to go change and then coming back, she came already like, you know, stunning with the <laughs> second dress. And then she met me in the middle and we were in the middle. Oh, you guys were doing the... the yeah, and then we were all kind of like in no, a you're circle. Doing the, snake? The, the line. The La Culebra? Yeah. yeah. No, this was right after. No, you were in it and I came to you and I got in front of you and started dancing. That's where these photos come from. Because I literally got there and I was like, a whole, it was a whole new party going on. <laughs> and I said, where's Sebas? And I'm looking for him and I'm just dancing. And that's when I pass Sierra and all them. And I'm looking and I find him and I literally grabbed his hand from the front and I took the lead. <laughs> yeah. Of course I went. No, but we're talking about when I started changing. No, that's when it happened. Oh, okay. Right then and there. Because I pulled you to the dance floor and you got changed real quick. Yeah, you're right. But I was in the Sorry. middle of the dance floor. <laughs> Why so were you doing the colabra? Wow, well, yeah. So I, I I got to the middle, and then it was cool because it was kind of all eyes on me, so and all eyes on her too because she just changed. So we're in the middle. So I, was, I take off my black coat, and then they had me the white one, and then I put on the white one, and everybody was like, "What? I, like you look so sick." <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I should have done this backwards because I'm gonna Do get I this white sick. one fucked up. Uh, yeah, but it was cool, and I'm glad I changed. And yeah. honestly. I'm not even gonna lie. That was like the most expensive thing that I bought for myself. Yeah, was my Tom Ford suit, Same. and that suit was insane. And she yeah. convinced me to get a Tom Ford well suit. Well worth it. Yeah, well he looks. It. He looked amazing. Dude, that was. Like, I want to wear it again to, you to like perfection. Yeah, remember when we were in the, my in my uh, in my room in the yeah. apart, in the hotel, and yeah. then you were like, "Damn, when did you get an ass?" <laughs> I was like, "I know, right?" Because <laughs> it, it, it pulled. It's just it's just per- so tucked in and like just yeah. tailored perfectly he to his legs. He looks so good. It was. It was insane. I, I want to wear it again. Yeah. I got to take it to the dry cleaners because that <laughs> suit was insanely yeah. sick. I obviously went to him with him to go get the suit. It's very yeah. different, guys. Don't go with the girls to get the dresses. But the girls will go yeah, with the, the guys. guys yeah. But he asked me to come with them. He wanted my opinion on stuff. And Was it just um, you two who went? When we, he went for a yeah. suit, yeah. So um, I'd seen him, but it's not the same as seeing him at the altar. And I remember when I was walking down with my dad, I was shaking. I was I was I that was fucking crazy like yeah. the most unreal moment but I was like holding my flowers and I remember there said flowers at the waist by the belly button head up smile try to look straight ahead at Sebas don't look around so I didn't really like have my eyes because I was walking and I was just smiling and I looked up for the first time and I saw him and I was like oh my god I'm gonna lose my mind right now I started like obviously like I, I was tearing up I didn't fully cry I did so good at not like oh like letting it go but just like you guys saw me I was probably like that a little worse. Mm. Um, so I was like trying to keep it together. But when I saw him, they snapped a photo of my face right when I see him. Because I was like, wow. oh, my God, he looks so good. I need to see this photo. Yeah. Because um, that was the first time he saw you as well, which yeah. I didn't realize that you guys didn't do like a reveal. No, mm-hmm. I did it with my dad. I love that. I did it first. Like, I'm a daddy's yeah. girl. And yeah. I just I always yeah. I, he never he actually we both kind of decided on this. But he's always been like, I don't want to see you until you walk down. Like, I that, love that. That moment's yeah. beautiful. And yeah. you can't get that back. Yeah. Um, but with my dad, I'm actually really happy I did that with him because when I told him I, I wanted that, he was like shocked. He was like, with me? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh my gosh. And then the day of, he was like, he cried all day. Oh my gosh. My dad was so emotional. Oh my God. The first look, I have a, I saw like a video. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I cannot watch this. I lose my <laughs> shit right now. Wow. So um, talk to me about walking down the aisle. Like, what is that? Is your heart racing? <laughs> you- yeah. It's, it's, it's actually, I think it's worse just like, the five minutes for you know you got to walk out because oh. you guys are already out there they said i could hear sebas is on property uh the guys are on the side and you guys took photos with dewey and everybody yeah. and then um and then we're just waiting my dad's like freaking out himself we had just finished our first look i took photos with him my mom um i gave them each a gift i gave gifts to the girls and then um we were just waiting like just waiting and then right before we walked out we're like should we all just do like one shot real quick like i need something <laughs> and my dad's like i need one too so we all took like one shot um and it didn't even do anything to me oh, I, bet, I feel yeah. like it tasted like so water hot. i was like oh my yeah. gosh yeah. so right when we're waiting um everybody walks out and it's just me and my dad and the planner like behind like this like area and we're just like talking and my dad's 
like literally trembling and i'm like dad <laughs> no way yeah my dad because this is like me i'm the first one to get married yeah so my dad was just like oh my no God. i get it i am not one to get nervous i was nervous walking down the aisle i was like yo this feels like so serious yeah <laughs> so once i got my dad i was like my dad was like he had my arm in and he was like you got this mija he was like you got this and i was like oh i'm so nervous <laughs> i'm like you got this yeah yeah <laughs> and then right when we started coming down um as i turned i had seen my friend shayla she had looked over and she was like oh shit, she's coming and then my friend behind her sierra was right behind her and they were both staring at me and i felt like comfort looking at them because huh. i was like okay like i just felt i don't know why i was just like freaking out but i yeah. felt comfort so walking up i kind of just like smiled and i was like trying not to fall trying to just um I don't know there's just so many emotions like yeah. I, I you really black out in that moment yeah um and then right when i started walking uh the the planner let my my veil down yeah. and i started walking and my flower applique got stuck I, I on, the, yeah. on the wood and i was like oh shit and i like <laughs> i pulled the top of my head and, and i started laughing and i was like oh that was kind of like I, an icebreaker thank god yeah yeah also it was like really wholesome like yeah. you know i just like kind of like leveled everything out yeah. yeah and then obviously the song i picked when i heard the song playing i was like oh i'm gonna cry inside yeah. uh that that one got me a little choked up and i showed yeah. him in the morning i was like just so you know this is the song i'm walking down to yeah um I actually I, did you even did you pick up the song at all uh i don't remember but if no. you, which one was it it was sparks by coldplay okay it's beautiful if yeah. you guys haven't heard it like it'll make you just cry just hearing it like it's yeah. so yeah. good it was really nice. and it was like a live violin yeah. we chose yeah, it the day of that was really cool i that chose was... it the day of because originally i wanted something else yeah. and then um yeah that morning i was just like i'm gonna do this song i think it's this one's fitting to yeah. me i love it i love yeah. I was like, can she play it on the violin? He's like, yeah, they can do it. I'm like, okay, cool. What happens um, is that when she's walking down the aisle and I'm already up there with my mom and I'm just looking at her walk down that the beautiful ceremony that, you know, her and Alfonso created, just the energy that's in the air, just, you know, 200 plus people sitting down. Witnessing. Perfect weather. Yeah. yeah. Karen, her, uh, her dad, the mom, my friends that I've known for such a long time, my 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 siblings are there just all this energy you can just feel it yeah and when you're just walking down that aisle and then i'm seeing her and every single step she would take i'm just getting flashbacks of like yeah. when i first met her uh, the, our first day uh three years into our, our our relationship four years into our relationship you know when we're fighting when we're this all the goods and the bad i'm just getting flashbacks and flashbacks almost like a seizure of happiness and it's just crazy and that's why i'm like so like looking at her and i'm just like I, like the even right now like i'm getting Damn. like um some i just shaved my actual arms actually <laughs> uh, for the first time in like a year and a half so you can't really see it actually looks good dude i like que it chinando, <laughs> but you know i get these like uh these emotions and i'm yeah. just like this is just insane it's a surreal feeling like it's really hard to explain and like i said i kind of went through like a blackout moment because i was just i was just like the feelings were just unreal yeah um, and overwhelming it was but the minute i saw him i was like oh my god i'm gonna cry like i just i felt it right away and i was doing so good i cried with my dad um and that one i was like i like i the minute he turned around we just started crying so i already felt like i let it out then mm. and then all morning i was like crying so much yeah so i let it out but when i saw him i was like okay halfway there we're good and then i looked up at him and that's when i was like oh my god i'm gonna lose it right now and I started crying, but the minute I like we we locked arms, I, yeah. there was this like comfort that I needed, yeah. and then we just like couldn't help but like talk to each other while <laughs> while Pepe was like doing all the stuff. I, he I, he's like, oh my god, he's like, I was like, you look good. He's like, you look good. Like we're just like talking to each other, but it was like this bit of like I'm so nervous, me too, and yeah. like just like the feeling even of just doing like like him just like you know consoling like my hand. I was like, wow, this feels so perfect Home. and so right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like. It's like an unreal feeling that yeah. you just, you have to experience it once in yeah. your life. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. Pepe did amazing, by the way. I said that in the last podcast. He was incredible. <laughs> Father Pepe? Yeah. Honestly? Yeah, he was so I, good. I, there was one moment where I was like, I, I just, I, I, I had turned to look at everybody and I was like, oh my God, I like, can't believe what's going on. Like, <laughs> you, I'm telling you, you black out when you're up there because you're just like full of so much emotions, happy, emotional, just so excited to see yeah. like, the fact that like our parents can be there you know yeah. um grandparents i look and i see like you guys I, see, I just see everyone i was like wow this is like an unreal feeling right now yeah how was it giving your vows and writing your oh, vows fuck. what was that process like writing them i was i i, I wrote them and then i read them to my maid of honor and we cried together <laughs> and she's like let's just get it out get it out right now yeah um and then i read them to jasmine and then i think she, we, we both cried and then reading out there 
I started and I started crying. Yeah. And then I was like, hold up. I'm like, give me a second. And I was like, oh, you got this. And then I read them, but I couldn't help but cry. I was just crying. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful. Uh, everybody that I talked to, they're like, oh my God, you guys are vowels. I guess everybody was crying. I couldn't hear anybody. Yeah. Because yeah. you're just like, yeah. that's, that's the part that really got to people. I felt it too. I heard the sniffles did, did, in the air. Did, did you like get the sniffles too? Or of not? course I did, dude. <laughs> I love love. I'm a love guy. I love love. <laughs> Even talking about it right now, I feel it. No, yeah. literally, like, there was a moment, like, I, you don't really notice anything going on out here. You don't hear anything. You're just kind of with each other. Um, but, I had a content creator that I hired. Mm -hmm. So this guy, it's so cool. If you guys are getting married, I, I never recommend doing this because I wasn't on my phone once at the wedding. Yeah, like, me was, neither. One I'm, time I picked it up when we when we said our ideas and we're in the back, we took a quick photo. And then uh, at night, like when we were having dinner, I grabbed this phone. I'm like, let's take a picture real quick because we haven't taken one. And yeah. then I didn't post it. I posted it like the next day at yeah. like 5 a.m. or something like yeah. that. Um, but hiring someone to capture the way you would capture it is amazing. I have like, 800 videos saved in my phone of moments that like I obviously our videographer captured it on his professional camera but to get them raw yeah yeah it's, it's very different. different it's very different so I I haven't listened to the ones of our vowels I've obviously know that they're in there but I clicked on it once and when I clicked on it I, first, I don't even know who was sitting right there but they were all like and I was like <laughs> oh my god they were crying wow. I'm like I just see like everybody like yeah. wiping and yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I or even, even if they're not crying, just like their faces of like, holy shit, like, <gasps> this, this is, is really crazy. happening. This That's is, how I yeah, felt. this is yeah. happening. Yeah. Like we're here, we're in the moment. Yeah, Guys, comment down below. Like, how did you guys feel when you guys walked down the aisle? If obviously you're married, um, see if we can relate. Um, mm -hmm. I would love to hear what you guys think. I also I, love that you guys did no phones at, 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 the, the, ceremony. at the ceremony. Oh yeah, yeah. That was no phones at the ceremony because I wanted it to be very intimate, very personal. On top of that, it's like a, we did like a 20 minute ceremony. Our ceremony was so fast that you could you'll be fine without it for 20 minutes like for you're sure. good um but it was just more of respect and also like walking back we didn't want this in every photo on yeah, phones no, no. i didn't want people i i'm like let, let the photographers capture that moment yeah. and they did and they captured um it so beautifully and i love that it's just more smiles versus like phones out like, yeah like, for sure gazillion phones yeah yeah um it's funny though because i i it's i saw a TikTok that night the next day and it was like Anybody else notice no one's posting at I Love Studies Wedding? Yeah. And there were so many comments like, I bet you that she made nobody post. And then <laughs> then there was the rumor that we knocked down a cell tower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to not have content? They said she wants to get the content at first, so she probably paid to get a cell oh tower knocked down. Oh my gosh. You, were all, you guys were both all over my TikTok feed page. I, I was, was like, what? Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of money right there. Yeah, that's that crazy. One. But there was <laughs> genuinely no service up there. Um, and then just nobody like on their phones at the ceremony just kind of set the tone for the wedding because after that everybody like turned up at cocktail hour. It was wild. And yeah. then at the party, it just it just set a different tone. Everybody sure. was just like in the moment, and yeah. that's essentially what we really wanted. It was yeah. just everyone to just party, have fun, and mm -hmm. like celebrate this big moment for us. Yeah, like, thirteen years of dating. Like yeah, we exactly. have been waiting years for this, so we were just so happy. But once we said once we said I do, we walked away. We were just like. <laughs> like we were screaming we were just so yeah. excited and we went to the back with everybody yeah. um we just kind of had a moment to ourselves and it was so nice and then we took photos group photos with everybody which was really fun and then then from there we had our own moment for a little bit and then we just kind of were like what the fuck this is crazy now it's time to party bro yeah. i wanted to share this real quick um because Banda Machos, they posted us on um, their yeah. Instagram. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. You know? Yeah, I was like, this is so cool, you know, that they they wanted to post us. So I'll, I didn't, I'm not trying to boast or anything. I'm not trying to, like, ser creído because I'm not. Me gusta caer gordo, but I'm not. But it was really nice because uh, they posted us. And then I put mil gracias por todo. Hasta la próxima, you know. And they said... And I'm gonna frame this one day because Banda Macho is one of my favorite bandas. And I already told Karen too. I didn't post her or anything. They said, and I hopefully hopefully it's okay that I say this, but they said, Gracias, nosotros muy agradecidos con ustedes. And nuestra experien experiencia. Esta ha sido la boda más hermosa en todos los sentidos. Wow. Dios los bendiga siempre. Wow. I know. I was like, and they've oh done a God. lot of work. Oh my gosh. Dude, they were so so good. Good. Like their setup, the stage, their entrance. Every, dude, even just they were like hella partying with us. Super. Millie was on stage with them guys. Yeah. I don't know what she was whispering to that guy, but she was like, 
<laughs> they were insanely good. Yeah, and it yeah. Set the tone for the party. Yeah, I agree. And I agree. I like that they were like that too. By the way, like very inviting. So oh they were God, like they part were like, of the party. They were like, yeah. come on stage, everyone have fun. They were getting all the tias and the moms down. They were on Facebook Live, yeah. all of them like showing it. But it was so cool because I know that they all live on the metros too. So they yeah. were lit. They were like Angie's mom, Millie's my my mom, all my tias. Like they weren't. They did not leave that area. Yeah, it was crazy. It was probably the best bond that I could have. We could have. Oh, 100 percent. Their energy. I didn't was, realize how many bangers they had. Like, oh, I knew yeah. they were huge, but it was like song after song. I was like, all oh my gosh. Yeah, all they killed it. Uh, they did such a good job. They killed it. I mean, from that. I think they felt the energy too, because they were like, yeah. I mean, I know that they always like do their little dance stuff, <laughs> but they were really like into it. Into and it. Getting so involved. Yeah. It was awesome. It was really cool. Uh, I wish I could relive that, our, our wedding That's again. Cool. It went by, so, it went by way too fast. Have you guys like, seen the footage at all? Like any of the content? Um, Besides like the content that you got from the the, the videographer sent me a teaser it's really cute actually i'll show you i need to watch this no it's a 19 seconds it's cute but um but he's the video he's working on it and then once we get the final one it's about 15 minutes long so that's okay, the one that's cool. gonna go on youtube he's, and yeah. he's so good like i caught this guy i feel before he really because he's getting he's big but he's gonna blow the fuck up and i just know that he's gonna go on to do more things yeah, but look wow. how good this video is it's our first dance song too. Oh, this is so sick. When I saw it, I got emotional. I'm like, dang, even right now, like, once that beat hit, I'm like, God. Yo, this is so Isn't this so cute? So good. I haven't posted it yet because I'm like, oh I'm just going to wait a little bit because if I post it, they're going to be like, when's the video? And yeah. you know, videographers take a couple weeks yeah, to get it takes you your time. video. It takes time, yeah. yeah, and we're, we're impatient. He even said, I'm working on it. I said, no rush. You take yeah. your time. Yeah. We're all taking our time here. It's yeah. okay. But that was just like a little teaser like his quality so good and he filmed on super eight he had like eight cameras he was like super eight this one this one he was 24 years old wow yeah. how'd you guys find him i Karen found him found on him. youtube wow. i looked up one day at this like wedding videographer um he did a girl's wedding and i was 10 seconds into this wedding i'm crying and i'm like who is this girl why am i crying to her? i don't even know who she is and i watched a video and he captured it so beautifully then i went to his instagram and i peeked and i'm like dude this guy gets like teaser videos he mm. gets the short clips he gets everything like to the point that like i i know he would do good with the with giving us our full video but i love that he could break it down into yeah something for social media yeah exactly because you want to share you yeah. know so from there Easy i reached to consume, out to him like fast yeah reach out to him great like booked him almost immediately um and he killed it when he got there. I was like, oh my God, he's literally a child. Like, but he's so good. Wow. Not a child, sorry. Yeah. When he got yeah. there, I yeah. noticed he was like young so man. young, but so talented. And I think he's new to LA. Like he yeah. lived. Wow. He just moved here from Did he give you guys like a lot of direction or was it like? From, yeah. the, from the get-go? No, from the get-go, I told Danielle, our photographer and him, we love in the moment shots. Yeah. We want to be in the moment. A couple of posies, fine, but essentially I wanted to feel like it's just a movie. Like, mm -hmm. can you record like a movie and get things in the moment that just feels yeah. so raw and authentic because i've seen videos where i'm like yeah oh my gosh like no 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 yeah. I, I don't want this i don't this isn't us yeah. you know we yeah. don't really very staged we're not and, very like stage or rehearsed mm -hmm. kind of people even like our first dance we that was actually our first dance guys like we never practiced that do people practice yeah yeah oh wow and i kind of i kind of that's one regret i do have i'm like we should have practiced because <laughs> on certain beats we should have dropped a certain way yeah, like i yeah. look back at it now and that's i'm like saying. yeah but yeah. I mean, who, makes sense. who even cares? I'm not even. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. fine. Um, no, it's but there, there, yeah, there, there, there wasn't. There was like direction, and it, um, the videographer and the photographer they were really good at kind of like doing it at the same time. Yeah. So when the photographer would do something, it's kind of like we're doing it for the videographer as well. Yeah. But for the most part, yeah, it was very candid. It was very like just always be recording, you mm -hmm. know. And you know, if you need a shot or this and that, like yeah, we'll do it. Obviously, but yeah, it was never like oh, right, we're gonna do this or that. No, everything which is very every organic. moment was like scripted. Yeah, not like that. Yeah. If there's yeah. one thing that you would you know go back into time redo that redo, what would you do? Um, or what's something that maybe I wish I would have done or I have a couple things that I that I that I thought about after that I'm like I wish we had done this um not not in any order I think one of them was that we actually forgot to do a speech we had a speech planned for after the speeches where we were gonna just oh, think everybody and yeah. like just kind of talk real quick we completely forgot I think we we're just two in the moment yeah that we completely forgot that everybody mm -hmm. killed the speeches by the way yeah. So oh yeah. I think so that was good. one of my favorite parts yeah. of the speeches. It was just yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not practicing the first dance because I think that we should have practiced that. 
um I mean, it's okay, but like I look back and I'm like, damn, like we should have just practiced. <laughs> yeah. There's just things that we should have practiced that we didn't, but I guess we just didn't, we just didn't think about it like yeah. that at all. Uh, what else? There was there was like one thing I recently thought about that I was like, um, we didn't have a cake. Ah, I don't care a fuck about the cake. Yeah, you either. guys did that on purpose though, right? Yeah. Well, we were going back and forth, and then by the time I was like, okay, we should get a cake, it was like too late. But also, nobody noticed. And I, I've been to two, realize, and I, I don't I do a lot nobody of cares. Cake. I no. feel like a lot of it goes. No. To waste. I think I would have loved it for a photo moment, yeah. but even then, I'm like, we got so many beautiful photos where we're like actually like like in yeah. the moment in yeah. love. Yeah. That instead of being like me, and, and no shade <laughs> to anybody that does it like that, yeah. I just uh, the cake was never really like my thing. The only person who noticed was no cake was my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> makes sense. My grandma because she yeah, got coffee yeah. and then she's like, "Where's the cake?" <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I was telling Josh um, on the last episode was that because obviously we talked about the wedding. Um, is I'm kind of glad we didn't do like the cake or like I I, I do wish we could have maybe done a speech like after the speeches, yeah. um, but I was telling like there's so many things that maybe we could have done, but I'm kind of glad that they didn't because a lot we only ha- like uh huh there's so much that we're doing like to jam pack jam pack in that moment yeah that anything we're gonna do is gonna take thirty to forty minutes out of our time yeah so why take that away when we can just at the end of the day, people just want to party. Yep. They want to drink. Yeah. We, they want to talk and to each other. And you could tell everybody was ready to turn up. Oh, everybody yeah. was yeah. like, a, like ready to get there. Um, no, I, I, I feel like in my eyes, everything came out exactly how we wanted to in our version, in our way. And not to say, oh, it's perfect. No, it came. It was our what we wanted and what we dreamed of. And I think mm-hmm. it came out so good from the ceremony, the way everybody came dressed to the oh, nine. Right, to the nine. You guys. Okay, so we did do a dress code. Um, and I was very particular on this. Not that I, not because I'm like, I, I just, I like just. Like Bridezilla type thing. No, just, not yeah. at all. I just wanted everyone to look nice. Yes. It's like, I'm giving you direction and I'm actually making it easier for you. Yeah. The, the guys, black tie. Black tie and everybody looked so good. And then the girls, I gave them the options. I said, I said, basically like Met Gala gowns. Mm-hmm. But just, I wanted them to be in gowns in either champagne, tan, beige, bronze or black because i felt that would look the best with the colors of yeah, the wedding this, yeah and everybody came uh there were a few girls that came in like champagne ivory and i loved it because i'm like oh my god it's such a good balance between like the black and the bronze yep, like yep. everyone just looks so good yeah and honestly a lot of people were texting me like karen is this okay this isn't too much i'm like nope <laughs> no no such thing wear is too this much. absolutely yeah or no make the slit higher like i want him, everyone to look so good yeah and yeah it's just it, it came out so great Everybody um, looked beautiful. The music was good. Everything was was perfect. And one thing I have to say that I really took into consideration when planning and also with our planner, because everyone always says, oh my gosh, at weddings, like you're all over the place. Don't lose your husband. Like make sure that you guys hmm. do your things together. If you go say, how do people go together? Because yeah. you'll lose each other. Um, you're not going to have a moment to sit down. It's not our planners told us we were saying hi to everyone for a little bit. And we made sure to always like lock hands, right? Yeah. Like stay together. They were like, hey guys, come sit down. And we're like, okay. So we sat down and they said, uh, anyone that approaches you, we're gonna tell them that you guys just need a couple of minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> I was one of them. <laughs> they declined to. <laughs> and at first I was like, oh my God, I hope no one gets offended. But then I was like, wait a second, we're actually having a moment to ourselves yeah, to sorry. talk. <laughs> so so it was it was kind of nice. So if you guys yeah. are getting married, I recommend like telling your planner to like give you five, 10, 15 minutes max to just like be at your sweetheart table with each other to enjoy that, that moment. That makes so much sense. And then the one thing I, I absolutely love that I did, because I'm two shot Karen. If you guys know, we haven't even taken any shots because I'm not I, I'm not doing any shots right now. But <laughs> I purposely told the bartender to water down my drink. Oh. I said, can I'll get a margarita. Can you put like, can you just water it down? Yeah. And he was like, uh, let me ask. Remember when he was like, let me ask. So he let came back and he goes, <laughs> yeah. he came back with two that were water. And you didn't notice it was like, clear mine was watered down too <laughs> don't ever say that to a bartender for me <laughs> i basically told them to water it down because one of my friends got married last year and she told me that she still cries about this till this day she blacked out i uh, can't remember if it was at 9 30 or at 11 but she blacked out so early missed the whole party and she said my best advice to you is to not do any shots until um like the party starts yeah and then in the meantime water down your drinks so i said okay so i took a shot with my dad uh, then we had our first shot together. Yeah. From there, we just drink water, water, water. You can't even get drunk because your emotions are yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Then when we sat down, I ordered us water mar- down margarita, sorry. And then I drank a little bit. And then from there, my my shot after that, my first actual shot after that was when you guys threw me in the air. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. And I'm so happy that I did that because I didn't get 
I got tipsy, but not drunk. Yeah. I didn't black out. I remember everything. I was in the moment I was able to embrace my really, really drunk friends and like let them just live it because I don't need to be like that. I don't want to yeah. be like that. And I don't want to like not remember everything. And I love the next day that we're both like, hell yes. Still we survived. Good. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't black out. Like knowing like we didn't get drunk. I don't care about anybody else. Yeah. I think everyone else got crazy. We remember everything and that was the best thing we could have done because we just were really to be in the moment with everyone. Yeah. I was telling them we were having so much fun that I, I, I didn't even think about going to the bar. I didn't yeah. think about where's my drink. I didn't think about let's, you know, catch a buzz. I never even thought about, you know, maybe the last hour I was like, give me something. Yeah. Because you know? yeah. I was like, it's starting to wind down. Yeah. Not wind down, but I was like, I got an hour. You yeah, know, after yeah, that, I don't yeah. really care. Got to capitalize. But after that, yeah, it was cool. But uh, uh, more more about the wedding after the break. What do you guys say, guys? Let's do it. Absolutely. Coke Z time. Coke, Coke Z. Z. All right. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about like highlights. I want to talk Things about like some I of your favorite. Don't regret. Yeah, like big moments that you like really stand out to you. Yeah, Karen <sighs> Robles. My gosh, so well, how about we talk about? Do you do you like your last name or what? I love my last name. <laughs> 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 no, there's so I mean, there's so many highlights. Like, oh my god, I don't even know where to start. Talk about us throwing you in the air. That was that was a highlight of my night. <laughs> that, that was my dream. And you for gave him a scar. I'm, I'm still, so I'm sorry. Healing. That was from my heel. I'm pretty I'm positive. Still healing. Heel? I'm the then heel was brand new and it had like a sharp sharp. Oh, that made, I thought it was. What was that? I tried to crack my wrist. Oh my I made my elbow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I thought Let it was your see? dress. I thought it was it's, your dress. I think it was a heel. Okay, that makes sense. That see. makes sense. I'm, I'm healing now, but oh, it was like, somebody asked me the other day, they were like, do you have a cat? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> was like a cat's cat. Throwing in the air was iconic because I since we got engaged, I was like, when I get married, I want to get thrown in the air. We I want you, I want girl. something, to, something big, whether it's like a human like centipede thing yeah. or whatever we got to do but when you guys were wanting to throw me remember at first i was like no yeah no no no, no. Like, i need a shot <laughs> no and then the girls were like you wanted this i'm like i changed my mind i'm too sober for this and then they're like get her <laughs> the a shot, shot. <laughs> yeah oh uh, well, that was fun that was yeah. that was so much fun that was great um, that was such a good did you picture. feel safe when you were <laughs> not on the way down <laughs> the, way, the way up is funny yeah. but the way down it, like, it feels oh. like you know the guardians of the galaxy at yeah, Disneyland. Right. your stomach just goes up yeah when you're coming down that's how it felt and i was like oh and that's why i would flip my arms around because i was like this is really really yeah. high even with me i was like higher 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 yeah. i was like let me touch <laughs> the ceiling literally and we, you, they threw me so high that i was so able high. to grab the ornaments on the ceiling um there's great. there's so really sick. a lot of highlights to the wedding like yeah. I, I really can't pick one because everything i'm telling you just came out so good for like us like everything that we wanted so i have to say the whole wedding is my highlight yeah. 10 10. yeah you set the bar really high Aww. guys like really high i've seen like other weddings that pop up on like my tiktok <laughs> so i'm like i need something better <laughs> i was getting no i don't even want to make that that's me everyone no. is beautiful but you of guys course. set the bar high is what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. you no, guys' I, wedding was insanely thank beautiful you. They, honestly it was like a dream even till this like this moment right now i still yeah. can't believe that that was our wedding and it was everything i wanted yeah. it more um, I think for me, like the biggest thing was like finding the right wedding planner that can yeah. execute that because not everybody can do ceiling treatments and can do um, greenery above or like know where to find like those tr massive ass trees you mm -hmm. guys had and yeah. all that. Like there was just so much that he's able to do, which I think that's why it's right to find the right wedding planner that works with you, that gets your vibe, uh, but also can do everything. Like if you look at his work, he just could do like a blend of anything that you can dream of. So seeing that he can really do that, I knew that he was able to execute it with me, not giving him too much direction other than this is the inspo. Yeah. I want greenery, I want whites. Um, I want it to feel like a garden. I want yeah. it to just feel so lush and just be beautiful. Um, so finding the right planner to me was like the most important thing. Cause from there, he's gonna go ahead and find where to find the florist, mm -hmm. where to find the right, uh, yeah the right uh rentals the i mean everything like from yeah. even adding like subflooring like we did subflooring throughout the, the the venue meaning it's like this fake floor with like carpet so there was white carpet and then there was the dance floor so if oh, you that's you right. didn't pay, you didn't notice it you weren't even stepping on grass like when we were like 
at the wedding, like go, walking to the bar, it was flooring and wow. carpet. It wasn't even, it wasn't even just grass. So most people would just get the yeah. dance floor and in yeah. the grass. But yeah. I, I was like, no, we, we should, he like figure that all out. And yeah. The flooring me. sets the tone for the, the whole flooring, thing. The lighting. Because if you have flooring, it looks way more magical. Yeah. Like if you have grass, you're going to It's obviously tell really, it's, really expensive, mm -hmm, but this mm -hmm. was like a huge investment and it's something that we saved up for years. Um, and we felt comfortable with everything. Yeah. I mean, very expensive, but at this point we're like, okay, well, we've been saving, we we bought our home. Like we've done things together where we felt like it was gonna be, it was okay for us to, to spend money and yeah. that much flowers and everything. Yeah. But uh, to me it was worth it because this was obviously our, our first time getting married. You guys deserve it. Yeah. Our parents' first time of their, any of their children getting married. Um, and I don't know, just like we always throw parties, so we wanted to do like the most epic party, but yeah. just what we really wanted. Yeah, and like I said, we never saw like a rendering. That's or crazy. So, so when you guys right after the that's ceremony, when you first saw it. no, right after the ceremony, no. right, right after the ceremony, you guys were in cocktail hour. Uh, right after the ceremony, uh, we took pictures, right? Yeah. So once we were done with the with our pictures with with you guys with our family and stuff like that, uh, you guys went to the cocktail hour for a little bit. I I believe so. Um, and then right when you guys were gonna go to Cod Tower, they they walked us up so yeah. we can have a moment to ourselves That's so with cool. me and her and just see the the, the reception empty. Yeah, and, and basically we, we did take photos, but he was like, you guys, I want you to take this all in because it's gonna change in about 30 minutes when this, oh no, like in an hour when oh, the sun yeah. sets. He's like, it's gonna completely transform the way it looks. And we're like, okay, cause we didn't realize like yeah. how much lighting there was in between. Like it wasn't just like in the center, the lighting was coming through like every corner. There was spotlights everywhere and lights. And that's something that when we were having dinner, we were looking around, we're like, oh my gosh, you yeah. see these lights, you see this. So that's why Thursday was building it up and setting it up and the wiring and the electricity and all that. The next day was now setting up uh, the greenery, not the flowers, because the flowers would burn with the heat. Gotcha. Um, and then Saturday, Saturday morning was the florals and the rentals. Yeah. And there was there like a so hundred people, like flowers. literally. Yeah. <laughs> there so was. many flowers. My mom almost started crying. She's like, I can't believe like There's my so mom and my tia. That, no, they were like, I can't believe like we can't take these home or blah oh, blah. They're too no. big. So what happens? They just get thrown they away. Figure. So, yeah. yeah. What, whatever. Well, the centerpieces are way too big. Like no one could take yeah, those home. No. They're massive, but. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is sad to see all the flowers got thrown in. The real, fl everything was real. Yeah, everything was real. There was nothing that was fake about the flowers. Yeah. So every you're seeing everything being pulled off and you're just like, so oh my gosh. when we went to the reception and we saw it just us two and we took pictures. That's we really were, cool. We were just in awe. Yeah. We were like, what? And, and This is crazy. One thing too with our planner, he was like, um, my best advice for you guys is to make a wow factor. He's like, something simple for the ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like something simple something really just like pretty yeah and then a very simple cocktail hour yeah and then you wow them at the reception like oh, don't drop too much money gotcha. on the cocktail hour. they're going to be there for one hour so that's why we did the people the papel picado which is really cool with that did you did you see yeah, Karen and Sebas, yeah. Las yeah. Yeah. that was really cool uh those were all imported from mexico city so they had someone that made them out there that's um so cool. and they yeah. killed it and then there was this little simple tables and then very small arrangements so yeah it was it's crazy when you look at that it was like such a like small little it was setup. like a build up yeah, yeah and then once you go to the reception it was like yeah. holy cow that was exactly how it was the way you laid it out like that that's how the experience felt like yeah. it just like gradually yeah. just kept getting it progressed I, yeah. yeah so for me like with this wedding the best thing i feel we spent our money on was really our planner because he did everything we didn't do anything i mean we did a lot we were really in the loop but he was like in charge of finding everything it's almost like find me like this is the dream you want okay here's the solution here's your options this not this is what wow. i'm thinking uh but not with everything he kind of was like let me just take the lead because you yeah. know yeah like who's really looking at uh silverware and being like uh, this is more curved this isn't like yeah. i don't really care yeah yeah um what about the flowers did you have like were you involved yeah, in that yeah okay, it was yeah. flowers yeah. i wanted a lot of greenery yeah and then a lot of, a lot of like white roses um I just wanted it to feel like a garden versus like this, like this, instead of just bushes of flowers, mm -hmm. I wanted there yeah. to be a lot of greenery and feel very like that whimsical yeah. kind of feel yeah. too. I felt like everything actually came from the ground. Yeah. We actually had to push Cock Tower an extra 30 minutes because we wanted to wait for the sun to kind of set a little, we wanted it to lower it down just a little bit because everyone's gonna be wowed when they get there because it's a little bit more dark so the lights will show more and it's a more crazier magical little feeling that you go yeah exactly i really magical. can't wait for everyone to see the video because yeah. the videographer captured because 
anything that anyone has seen is just kind of like from iPhone mode and mm -hmm. then just photos, but nothing will ever be exactly like from one end to the other how it looked. Yeah. Um, and I know our videographer captured all that because he was out there forever, like yeah. filming everything every yeah. corner. So yeah. I just know that when that, when we see I it again, it's gonna be like, I, I, it's gonna hit me again, just yep. how insane it looked. Yeah. And even then, nothing will be as good as like really being there. Like it doesn't oh, justify it. The feeling there that was, night, There guys, was a feeling in there. Yeah. That yeah. night, when I tell you, like, not just because this, this was my wedding, but this is truly one of the best weddings like I've ever been to, ever attended. Um, everything was perfect about it. And <laughs> and even, even just like looking back, I remember like I was walking around doing my rounds and I'm like, see my mom, my dad dancing, see my aunt and her husband dancing, seeing like everyone I love in one room, which who knows we'll ever get that again, was just unreal. Mm. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. feeling was just, it, yeah. was, it was magical. I was like, wow, I am so happy right now. Yeah. Like this is like, crazy. Yeah, it, but it went by way too fast. It did, and it was ten Sad. hours. Ten hours. That's being crazy. There. And it went by like if it was three. I was gonna say it's about like three hours. But we enjoyed. Every, I was telling it went by fast because everybody enjoyed every single second in that yeah. minute. Um, but yeah, my tias would hit me up and be like, "Sebastian, um, I congratulate uh, Karen and yourself. Um, estaba bien hermoso la boda, blah blah." But they would say also like, "Gracias por hacer eso para que toda la familia nos juntemos, mm. yeah. so we can all get together." And yeah. you know, this we'll never forget these moments ever in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, "Sick." And and, <laughs> and at the end of the night, the best part too is that like once it was over, nobody wanted to leave. Like the dance floor was still packed. Yeah. Everybody was like, "Where are we going to now?" Yeah. Like it was just kind of like Energy chaos so and high. crazy. And I'm telling you, everyone that we know was lit like on a different level and me and him were just like hell yeah like okay we did good like <laughs> everybody yeah. everybody's good we're just happy we like everyone yeah. enjoyed themselves and we did too because we did not leave the dance floor. we were like dancing with everyone um but everyone just had the best time and i think too what can be kind of scary is mixing families mm -hmm. mixing friend groups like different friend groups yeah. like we have so many friends so much family mixing them all together and making sure that like there was nobody like there wasn't like a drunk uncle and like a cousin who like bickered or yeah. like I don't know let's just say like one of like my drunk friends maybe like said something bumped to into an, a cousin of mine and yeah. then they get into a fight like there was nothing everybody no. was just like on this super like excited a party like wave yeah. the whole night yeah 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 and I think I think that's when I look back I'm like wow it's just perfect like in every way yeah wow. and that's what I told her even before the wedding I said I said don't worry about any of that my side of the family's cool your side of the family's cool. All of our friends are super cool. They're very social. They're oh, very no, I outgoing. I, was, um, I wasn't worried about anything like that. I was just thought. more like, yeah, like you think about everything yeah. when you're throwing a party, right? You're yeah. like, okay, you're mixing a lot of different people. You have people from, uh, like I had like friends that I'm really close to from from middle school that were there yeah. and they were literally living their best life. They didn't really, they didn't know really anybody that yeah. was in my family, but they were just like making friends with everyone. So it can be kind of scary when you're, when you're like, okay, you got this and then you got family from here and then you got family from there. Mm -hmm. It's just you just never know. So you always think about like what ifs. I don't yeah. know. Maybe no, I, I get you. I'm the same way. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm but, very confident with both sides of the family. So yeah. I was just like, we don't gotta worry about that. At all. And I even had friends, I was talking to a friend yesterday and he was like, dude, who's that one guy that da da da? I'm like, Oh, that's that that's Fulanito. That that's what's his name. Oh, yeah. everyone and made goes, me friends. Oh my god, that guy is so cool. <laughs> and that's what I was so excited about. Cause even when we were doing the seating chart. Yeah, yeah that was gonna talk about that real quick. She was like she was like, no, I don't know about this. I don't know about that. And I'm like, put fucking no, randomize that no, no, shit. No, 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 no. I, I want everybody to know everybody, no. even if you don't know them. Like, yeah. random. I would randomize the whole thing <laughs> so, if it was up to me. So I have a vlog going up uh, probably this or next week, which is like the the last week before the wedding, the prep. And I yeah. pretty much vlogged like all my appointments on that. But there was, was one day I was going to pick up Jasmine from the airport and I'm driving and I'm like, all right, guys, we got to talk. So I'm talking about like just how the last two weeks for your wedding are beyond the most stressful. Mm. Like I was so stressed and I'm talking because it's like, uh, let's say the venue security couldn't get a hold of Alfonso, right? Cause Alfonso's in Mexico city. He's doing a million weddings. Like I, we saw him do like three weddings in a Within weekend. Within that time that you guys had yeah, hired him? Yeah, he's weddings every weekend. He's oh, wow. so busy. He's so, he has a huge team. So if they couldn't get a hold of him, security from the venue would be calling me. And I'm like, why are they calling me? And I'm like, hello? And he's like, do you have the timeline for this? And I'm like, Hi, I'm the bride. Like, I don't have any of this. Like, can you call my planner? He's not answering. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you. So the things like that started to stress me out. Yeah. And then it would be like this. And then there was like, okay, well, we can't find this. Can we change this? Like little, little things. I noticed I was getting really stressed and overstimulated. So I was stressed out. Then we did seating charts. And mm. the next day I was like, damn, if you don't fight doing seating charts, like, are you really a couple? Because 
We bickered. It was mainly me bickering, but we're bickering a lot. I didn't bicker at all. <laughs> it, it's mainly me just like trying to mix everyone. Um, and then like after- You're trying we, to make it make sense. Yes, like putting the right people together. And then after we finish everything, like days later, he realizes he forgot like so many people and family and this and that. And I'm like, Seva, I was like, I don't know what to do. Like stressing me. Out. Oh, you forgot certain people that so they weren't added to the seating Don't charts. Say who, but. Yeah, no, I mean it's normal. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, of course. You're, you're gonna be like, oh, mind. you know yeah. what? Yeah, no, he you, goes, did, did you get like this? Um, did you get X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z? And I'm like, did you put them down? No, did you? And I'm like, well, how would I know? And he's like, no. And then I look back and I'm like. Well, I don't know where I'm going to put them now because we just did all the seating charts. So it's like things like oh that, like the little stress. Yeah. And then you're just like so anxious for that day. So yeah. you can imagine like you just, and everything just starts to bother you. Yeah. And then you're like suddenly- Because Karen's very by the book. Mm -hmm. Suddenly you're not eating. Suddenly you, you, you're like working now. I can't like focus because yeah. I have a thousand things to do. Yeah. Like like it got crazy guys. But um, speaking of seating charts. Okay, so I was making the seating charts and I was like, who are you going to put with who? So- like we had put certain people together. <laughs> They're all like best friends now, like this whole table. Anyways, it was funny just putting the same charts together because I was like, oh, these people will go with this one. And tell me why everyone got each other's numbers. Everyone's like hanging out now. Yeah. Suddenly, like every, oh. there's new friendships now. Yeah. And I told her, I told her, I was like, people are going to be hella cool. Yeah. All of our friends are cool. Yeah. No, all I, of our family's cool. Yeah. All of our family's <laughs> cool. And you, we have nothing to worry about. People are going to sit down for an hour. No, that's, that's it. After that, I'm saying. boom. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Scatter. What I'm saying is like, you, like I'm like I want to put the lit people with the lit people we got to mix this one with this one like you got to break people out of their comfort right yeah. so it was just like making it all make sense and I'm like oh they'll go good over here so yeah, it was really yeah, yeah. it was fun yeah, then it, was it fun. wasn't and then it was fun then it wasn't <laughs> so you go through like these roller coasters of like it, it just gets really 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 wow. intense all I said was just make sure my family is all in one table all my siblings and stuff like that and that's it everybody else no. figure it out figure it out <laughs> no 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 we made sure to, to Put everyone who like it. yes yeah, who, yeah. Like, can put definitely strategy like you want to mix the right people together i mean everybody will be fine but also too like i didn't want to put his like aunt and his grandma at um alenia's means table when you know they're going to be taking hella shots and being crazy yeah so you got to think that makes sense you got to think about no, yeah. that that makes sense but, but the way it worked out everyone's table worked out and i was like oh my god i'm so excited like where yeah. everybody was sitting That's it was so like cool. funny to see it that and way. we also didn't have like a table where it was like all my groomsmen all her oh, bridesmaids no, no, no. Oh, we yeah, thought about it true. and then we're like, no, let's not do that. Because what about Some if Ali wants to sit with Dennis, you know, yeah. and or, or you know, uh, you wanted to sit with you know my my brother and, yeah. and all my friends and stuff like that or my cousins that you know so well yeah. and that's that's also like circling back to like some non-traditional things that we did so we didn't have the traditional groomsmen bridesmaids table because yeah. people are in relationships and sometimes it doesn't fit or doesn't mix so it's like why do that like it's okay like we're Absolutely. like it's not a quinceanera yeah, either like exactly. we don't need to do that exactly um no shade to anyone this is just like my opinion like yeah. my thoughts and then also walking down the aisle we didn't have you guys stand up there. We we actually were like, I've been in weddings and you're just standing up there the whole time, you know, when it's about them. So right. to Good me, point. I was like, oh, it's let's just, um, you know, let's have them, sit. have them sit down on the sides. But what where I think about it now, and I should have done it, I should have swapped you guys. I should have had the guys sit behind me and the oh, girls so behind Seba. So because I would only see you guys. Yeah. And the girls would only see Seba. Yeah. So I think about it now and I'm oh, like, that damn. Makes sense. So if you're getting married, that try sense. that out. Swap your people on yeah, each yeah. side. If you're going to have them sitting or. Mm, or like your family facing you, because I'm sure they want to see. Like his mom would probably would have loved to see his face yeah. the whole time. And, yeah. But traditionally, you guys did it the way it normally is. Like yeah. you have your brides on behind you. Yeah. And, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And it, and it was actually perfect that way because at the end of the day the photos it's like i'm gonna get them with the girls regardless yeah. we're gonna get it with the guys we, we did group shots but um when you're have your photos you want to make sure it's just you and yeah. your person and yeah. that's it and nobody else and this is just like me like watching so many youtube and tiktok videos people that are like things i regret not doing things i regret doing and that was one somebody was like make it just be you guys and then our planners the same too he's like if i were you guys just be you two it's only about you guys and then when you take your photos you're Efficient, we'll move out of the way, and it's just you guys. And that's like, so cool. Oh, that's that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we've so been, many we, things to yeah, think about. We, yeah, we've been to weddings too, where it's like all the guys. Yeah, all the guys. I'll be your uh, I yeah, know what right? I'm doing now. All the guys like are you know standing next to the groom. Yeah, and they all know each other. No, I love it though. But yeah. no, it's cool. I wanted that too in the beginning, but then I was like, yeah, you're right. Especially like for pictures too. Like we had our own moment already. Those pictures aren't out yet, but we had our own yeah. pictures and stuff like that. I got pictures with all you guys, so that was really cool. Um, but what happens too is that like you know everybody's up there and you know people are taking videos and pictures and what happens is like the guys especially like the guys sometimes they like to fuck around so it's like you'll have the oh, guys yeah, like fucking that. like 
punching somebody in the oh, ass yeah. and then laughing <laughs> or like they obviously they're not going to be like this all the time i don't expect them to be like yeah. you know like model last either yeah, you yeah. know but they're you know, not all mean. They're not all like they're laughing or they're <laughs> yeah. just like yawning, maybe. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, normal. Normal. it's normal. But so we, that's why we we're like, but maybe also, it's, it's better if you just. I sit think down. also too because we didn't do it like in a traditional church. We had it there. Yeah. We didn't need to follow like by the books of how exactly. it needs to be. Um, and same thing too for the entrance. We only we were the only ones that entered. We didn't do bridal party entrance. So oh, just that's did right. Us, yeah, which yeah. I kind of was like okay with that because yeah, our planner was the one that recommended that. He's like, make it about you guys. It'll be more lit this way. But, um that's the only thing that like i guess we're just not the traditional like i think that's totally fine I, think, I mean there's no necessarily the, rules right about, it's like it's your wedding i think what happens is certain venues will tell you this is how you have to do it and yeah. this is how the how the the, the minute by minute goes for a yeah. wedding and the brides need to stand here like there's so many little rules and it's like no it's your wedding do it how you want if you don't want people up there don't have them up there if yeah. you do have them up there but yeah. it was it was uh, the way we did it i love that it just was about us mm -hmm. and at the end of the day like my bridesmaids or groomsmen you all know where you guys stand in our lives and yeah. that being up there doesn't change that doesn't at all. change anything at all i mean um, just the fact that we got ass already said says it all not only that walking down the aisle to see, to, to see you walk down the aisle with uh, who did you walk down the aisle with again uh, jasmine. jasmine with jasmine like to me like that was just such a beautiful thing like i'm look like as emotional as as emotional i got obviously the most emotional sorry yeah. she she beat you but <laughs> You know, as, as emotional I got with her, I also got emotion, emotional with you when I saw you come down. Yeah. It's a big when moment. I saw Jasmine come down, when I saw Ale come down, when I saw my brother come down, when I saw everybody come down, you know, it's kind of like, wow. See, you're and, like that's, such, and that's such things a, that I wasn't able to see. So oh, I'm so such, excited yeah. to get back the video because yeah. I want to see. We're going to do a whole watch party at the house. Actually, oh, okay, I don't cool. know if I told you we're doing a watch <laughs> party at the house. Got to. I feel like we're gonna do a premiere or two on YouTube. Yeah. Like at the oh, same that'd time. Oh, that'd be so cool. Like set a premiere. Yeah. We all watch it. Everyone, Everyone watches it watch together. Everyone watches it at the same time. That's awesome. Yeah. Had the really tissue cool. boxes ready, guys. I feel like we need to go on a trip, like all of us, guys, because I miss it too. I'm kind of having a wedding blues. I know. Blues. I think about it. I'm like, is that what I've been sad? Because we've been doing so much. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was engagement party. No, it was proposal party when I proposed to Karen. Yeah. And then it was all the beautiful things about like going to dinner and this and that, and then you know planning it all, and then we had a. I did the proposal party, like I said. We had the engagement party, kind of really so kicked things party, off. Asking the court to be in the wedding. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that bridal, was so fun. That, that was, was fun. a fun day too, yeah. <laughs> bridal shower, bachelor. You didn't go to the bridal shower. You yeah. were supposed to come out then. Yeah. Bridal shower, bachelor, bachelorette, bachelor party. Oh my Thursday gosh. night. Then. So there was seven events since last July, not even a year. Yeah, we need to run it back. Yeah, seven. Something. Seven so it events. Was, there was at was least something seven. always every other other month. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I think the internet so. was sick of me. They were like, uh, <laughs> no, more? I don't think so. can they you? Want no, people were like, can you just get married already? I'm like, nope. <laughs> nope. I'm I'm literally celebrating <laughs> every single in. moment because yeah. Yeah. This, because honestly, guys, being a fiance is so short lived. Yeah, it's short lived, and it's the most exciting time of your relationship because you're about to be a wife. You're literally about to upgrade into this wife. From there, it's like oh, looking the back. planning, all the special people that mean the most to you in your life, from everyone that attends the wedding, being in the wedding, your parents. Um, even Sabas getting a photo with his grandma who is older already, like that's something that who knows like next year if that would have been possible, you know. So I look at things like that that I'm like, wow, I'm so happy that like we'll forever have those memories and we celebrated everything, guys. So if you're a bride to be, celebrate everything, who cares what they say, do a bridal shower, uh, with your mom Cynthia as only then with your friends. Do yeah. a two back to our trip, like do it all, like live it up because it's a short-lived moment and it's so much fun and you should be celebrating like all these huge milestones. Like mm -hmm. it's a big deal I getting agree. married, yeah. you know? Um, I, yeah, I just have no regrets. <laughs> it no was, regrets. Uh, yeah, and uh, no you regrets. shouldn't. It was an regrets. absolutely perfect wedding. Um, I was telling Seth about this and I just wanna say this. Uh, you guys have been such an inspiration and I know a lot of people look up to you guys as a couple and I just admire the way you guys did everything from the, like just your relationship. I know there's no like right way to do things but you guys have really been a great role model and example of like oh, what a thanks. relationship in my opinion I mean, should hey, look, look like no one's perfect we still got our not. ups and downs not. we still you know we still fight we still yeah. bicker we still have our moments yeah. but at the end of the day it's like yeah. you love that person you work through them yeah. and yeah. and that's it you just grow from that yeah and i love how you were saying earlier how you just appreciate every single like a phase that you guys were in like dating was such a special moment and even being in the like being engaged it's like so short-lived it was so fun but it's it's like one little t one little moment in your life that you want to soak all up and you did yeah and then the wedding and now you're guys are married like this yeah. is this is 
Now, crazy. Now, it's funny. For, know, for the it longest crazy. time, it was like, when, like, you guys are boyfriend and girlfriends, when are you going to get married? Yeah. And then it's like, your fiance, when, he, when is a big day? And yeah. then it's like, now you get married. And then the questions are, when is the baby? When is the baby coming? <laughs> Just, we're married now, though. Them. That's crazy. I'm just a wife now. Do you feel different? I know Seb was answering this question. Yeah, everyone tells me they're like, "You have a different glow to you," and I'm like, yeah. "I guess." But I do feel it. I feel like it just kind of like matured our relationship in a yeah. way, and like a, like in a a better way. It just feels really. I don't know. How to explain it. It's a good feeling, though. Yeah, it's like I forgot. Who, was it you who told me? It's like kind of like. It's like being engaged is kind of like, yeah, I go to college and then being like married is like, yeah, well, I graduated with yeah, my I have master's. a master's, <laughs> I have a PhD. Yeah. Yeah. It just husband. feels good. It, it feels good. It's it's kind of like a very respectable thing for me and Karen, you yeah. know, like it, I look at her, um, I don't want to say differently, but like now it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a big accomplishment yeah. for me and her. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. And I love that. And I know that, you know, it was obviously the right If thing I could to relive do. that day, over, over and, and over i would absolutely do it and i honestly wouldn't change anything mine but like the little small things i talked about like the speeches <laughs> i also regret not going on stage upon the match we should have gone up there oh yeah you like, guys like gone up there's there. little things like yeah. that that i'm like wow why didn't we do that and yeah. we thought about this like throughout the week but like there's nothing Karen, where I, i'm so sorry but you have like your like lipstick Glad? is running yeah it's like running and i just oh shit i know I'm, it's juicy i didn't mean to cut you off like that but i wanted to tell you good I'm, looking now i'm sorry i know I like to take that out but no, first, can I tell you, as I was looking at it, I was like, does she have a mole that I just never was noticed? Was it just now? No, 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 dude. You guys were on a roll, uh, and I couldn't interview. But I was like, you know what? This is going on way too long. I was just say it. No, you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Thank I'm you. Sorry. Remember Wait, that one time I had something in my teeth? <laughs> yeah. Did I not say anything? Okay, nope. I'll, I'm going to say from right here then. So if I could relive that day over and over again, I yeah. would. And I wouldn't change anything about it other than like the little small things where I'm yeah. like, we should have gone on stage with the Machos. Yeah. Um, yeah, I regret that too. Uh, that's it, you know, yeah, like like little things. This yeah, is like yeah super like no, but there's minute. but there's not really regrets. It's more just yeah. like I would just looking like back. yeah, looking yeah. back. But like, yeah. but you can't live in none of those things would have made or no, like oh, it's like a, it's not a make or break for the wedding no. at all. No, 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 no. not it's at all. Like, yeah. It was it was perfect, honestly. And I, uh, at the end of the day, I'm just glad. Obviously, caring to myself had an amazing, beautiful time. I'm glad that our family had an amazing, beautiful time and our friends. And that's it. I. Yeah, it was beautiful, but even if it wasn't as beautiful, we're all gonna have fun regardless, and that's all that matters. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. And, and I, you can't really live like with like oh, it's like she said, we're not regretting these things. It's just kind of like ah, you know, that would have been cool. Yeah. But like Small we were things. so live, we were living in the moment so hard. Yeah. That you don't even think about these things. You're just like talking and you know just embracing everybody, what they have to tell you, all the love that's yeah. going around, and it was it was to be honest, it was probably like the best day I, of my I, life i think i think Easy. too us also with like the photographers and videographer knowing our vibe that we just like want to be in the moment and uh like i don't want to i don't want to stop and pose for everything like i just yeah. want to be there i think that allowed us to be like to really enjoy it to the fullest because if we would have stopped every five minutes okay come here come take a photo with with this person's not i would have been like no let's just go on the dance floor like yeah. so we got way better photos with everybody just like partying mm -hmm. and, and like that which I think allowed us to really not feel stressed or really enjoy, because everyone's like, oh my God, it's so, the wedding, I was just running back and forth, I didn't even yeah. enjoy the food, hell no, I enjoyed the tacos, I ate the pizza all at once, <laughs> I um, I lived it up, I, I lived that. it up, and yeah, just don't drink much in your wedding, that's yeah. all. Yeah. I think that's key, huge, yeah. so you can really just And do your rehearsal everything. Thursday night, because yeah. that night, guys, I, yeah. I was, I was a two-shot Karen on like a different level that yeah. I don't think anyone's ever seen me on. Well, that was episode 96, 96. with That's my it? wife. Whoa. Um, yeah. Um, I know that there's still a lot of questions back at home that you guys might have for, for Karen or myself. Um, but she'll definitely save it for her channel, of course. But I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot to talk about. And I do want to answer their questions because I know they always have really good questions. Part two. So I think there definitely has to be a part two, maybe next like week that. or the week after. I'm I, down. I think we should do that. I got a thing going on. <laughs> so, I have no longer, I have so much time now to like do this yeah. now. <laughs> so episode 96, remember you can see us on po uh, podcast <laughs> on here on YouTube or Spotify or Apple podcasts. Once again, my wife, Karen, the Ciao. Josh Leva <laughs> as myself, guys. Sebastian. And this is La Platiquita. And once again, babe, thank you so much, my wife. I'd love to thank be back you. on next week. So send over your questions. And Let's do it. Let's run it back. Have to. 97. 97. And we're celebrating something too. 
Let's do it. You're one year, it. baby. One year, baby. Wait, that's it? We gotta do a little something. A little something, something because Some, something here? Yeah, we had we had to push his his uh, one year anniversary with La Platica. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Congratulations. And um <laughs> Can you first, give me one of those little popper things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so so we Lush. definitely have to do something, you know, talk about it or do something to celebrate. Maybe we can have a couple of shots, stuff like that. Please. How do you feel about him actually? Completing is one year. One year, girl. Wait, and missed. just so you know, it's we've been, been consistent two weeks. every single I week. Know, and I for know. the most part, we've been like, we're like 90% on Mondays. 95. Yeah. Like 95. No, way more. You yeah. guys, it just as of recently, like, yeah, has it really been has. consistent because you you've been gone. Yeah. We've been busy. Yeah. There's been so many things like just wedding related that has taken over our lives. So but it's every a week. Hard. We've been but every we week, miss. yes. We don't miss. Um, no, I think that's amazing. I mean, since the get go, you guys have always been such a great pair together. And I feel like this has just been, I feel like your guys' this year, like completely changed. Everything. Your guys' life changed 100%. this year together. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like from the podcast, just so much stuff that's happened mm -hmm. in between. Yeah. Like all good for you guys. Yeah. So. So it's saying we're a dynamic duo. Basically. Basically, yeah. 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 <laughs> Some say we might be the Wisin and Yandel of our of our um, generation. Generation. Wow. Should we hit a, a um, um, married Karen hit a nasty my oh boy? My God. I don't know if I can. <laughs> yeah, you the, said it the, before. Like the cat one, everyone was sending me the cat. Oh my video. gosh, yeah. dude! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> like yo, we've been speaking cat this whole time. <laughs> it, first, it was a little, the little really cute girl. That was remember the little cute oh, girl. Oh yeah, she's no, like, it was like my. And she's, she's like, my, my. she's yeah, like yeah. drinking something or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen in that? the car seat? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, in the car seat. First it was that one, yeah. and now it's like this, 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 <clears throat> this gringillo that goes <laughs> Which means I come <laughs> over here, right? Really? Yeah. yeah, apparently. Apparently, because yeah. if you see the video, he goes <laughs> And I then the cat the, just comes. I saw. I tried it, doing it with also, it didn't work. <laughs> I think it's only cats, I don't cats, know if I, can, if I can do it with my boy. I haven't hit one in a while. Yeah, no, I but I gotta hit a nasty You're one. You're married bro. now, girl. The bar is <laughs> different. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> do it one more time. No. You gotta be like yeah. We gotta be quiet, so it's gotta be clean. <laughs> yeah, it gotta be clean. Just hit a nasty you, you, you one. You hit a nasty first. You make me nervous. Ma ma <laughs> <laughs> I said that because you're next to me. <laughs> that was a little flirty. It, it didn't turn me on though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> turn me on. <laughs> <I'm here>. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Let me see. There you, there you go. go. I like when people say. Ah, ah. I like that too. I think it's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <man. laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being on, bro. I appreciate that. Of course. I know you're a very, very busy, busy. Not anymore, you guys. Wedding planning is done. Free as can be. I'm free. Bro, we're trying to travel. Y'all trying to go somewhere? Y'all trying, trying to date? Hey, take me with you. He's trying Let's to go, go somewhere this weekend, and I was like, okay. Yeah, we're trying to date. We're not, like I said, we're not hitting our honeymoon until yeah. October. No, okay. September. Oh, September? wow. Yeah. Okay. September, but we're going on a trip in July. Got it. Okay. So That's not a, honeymoon, it's just not related to no, that. So many different cool. Something else, but yeah. going on a nice trip. Yeah. Yeah, I don't Love know. That. No rush at all. Yeah. But I'm a, I'm a hubby now. Damn, man. You really are. Change, bro. Hubby. Tubby. <laughs> <laughs> got that dad ball coming in hard. Dad ball coming in hard. Before the da before the kids? <laughs> before the kids. I got to have that dad ball Pre -dad before the kids. Yeah. yeah. Nah, Set the tone. Nah, nah I'm going to be all fit. I'm like chiseled. my boy Josh. Come Damn. on, my boy. <laughs> Shaving your arms. Oh, yeah. You saw that? Looks good, what bro. Tattoos are that, popping. Oh, they feel nice. Yeah, I keep touching that. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, anyways. <laughs> uh, we'll see you guys on the next platica. Yeah, we'll see you guys yes, next sir. week, and we'll be here taking shots next week. All right, let's do it. I'm down. Y'all said it. Yeah, I'm kind of down too. Yeah. To celebrate. Yeah, we celebrate. And wedding no, talk. Celebrate the homie right here. And answer questions because I feel yeah. like the questions coming in are gonna be mm -hmm. are gonna be like different than what we talked about today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But exactly. today we kind of wanted like a POV. Yes. Of Karen Sari Robles. Ooh. Yeah, I, I want to do a also like with the questions that someone can send over like a this or that or something. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you guys hit me with that. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm a, I'm a yeah. moderating it. Yeah, yeah. No, I like yeah, that. Whatever. Yeah, I like that. We're okay. down for whatever. Cool, cool. Nos vemos en la próxima plática. Bye, guys. Arro See ya. Arroz. <laughs> Arroz.